Hello, you beautiful people. I'm Michael Botts, and the reason that you show up here every morning at 9 a.m. is because you know there's more. There's more for you to get, and there's more for you to give. When you get, you give. You are a conduit for money, joy, health. So the reason you show up here is because we talk about you getting that. Today we're on part three of keep the day. Don't let a bad moment have the entire day. And we always start with talking about how you were born genius. You were born epic. You were born to impact the world in a way that only you can impact the world. Oh, my notes are over there. I'll be right back. I had my notes over there, and then I put them over here, and then I put them back over there so I could study them some more. <laughs> so you're going along when you were born, and you learned to eat, talk, and walk without any anxiety, without any depression, without the fear of failure, without embarrassment, worrying about what everybody else thought, and it was beautiful. So you're pretty much born a success. And in all the failure, you just keep succeeding. And then you get caught in the riptide of life and you get sucked out into the ocean of am I enough. And in the ocean of am I enough, you're still trying to succeed. But now, you're still trying to succeed. But now, you're getting the weight of doubt and fear and limiting beliefs, embarrassment, anxiety, depression, dis um, disappointment. All these things start to weigh you down. And you're trying to stay to the surface so you could get a breath. And then finally you start to drown in the ocean of am I enough. And you're sinking to the bottom of the ocean of am I enough. And the bottom of the ocean of am I enough is littered with dead dreams, dead goals, dead passion, dead destiny. And I reach in and I grab you and I drag you back up onto the beach of I am enough. And you start to watch this show on a regular basis every day. And it starts to resuscitate you. And you start to spew out doubt, <laughs> fear, <coughs> limiting beliefs. <coughs> and you start to take these breaths in. <gasps> I am enough. <sighs> I still can reach my goal and my dream. And I aim you down the path of success. And what do we know about the path of success? It is paved with gratitude. So I welcome you right now to start putting your gratitude in. The way it sounds is something like this. I am grateful for Jerry Glenn Botts and Billy Sue Fosnot. At 15 and 17, they got pregnant and had this beautiful, amazing, epic human. They could have had an abortion. They could have put me up for adoption. They could have left me with some other family members, but no. They changed the course of their life and kept me. And I am grateful that my parents kept me when they were just little kids when they had me. And I am enough. So that's how your grateful sounds. I am grateful for, you say it, and then you say, I am enough. Now, as you're putting your gratefuls in, we're going to take some breaths. These breaths are to create space. Because in the space is where the solution is. Laura says, thank you, Laura. I'm so happy you're here. I think I missed you yesterday. Laura Carroll says, I'm grateful for the beautiful love and wonderful family and good friends. I am proud of my ability to be creative and I am enough. You are creative. You made those costumes for the kids last year. You, made, you went on that trip. You are creative, absolutely, and I'm so proud of you that you nurtured that and brought that to life and kept it alive in your kept it alive in your life. So you're putting your gratitudes in. If this is your first time here, put a one in there. Put a one, and I'm here. And this tribe will make you feel welcome. They will make you feel loved, and you will not miss another day. You will adjust your schedule to be here every morning at 9 a.m. Let's take our first breath. Ready? Breathe in, let it out. Do you 
feel the space, just in that, just in that moment, the space started to get created. And in that space is the solution. Ready? Breathe in. Out. Become mindful and soulful. Stay tuned in here because this is a really good episode. I'm super excited what I'm going to share with you. And it will change. If this, if you apply what I show you today, it will change your life. Two more breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Let it out. Mindful and soulful. Last breath. Breathe in. All right, all right. Just a reminder, yesterday we talked about the moment in time you have to see yourself in am I enough, the moment in time just eats you up and steals your whole day, your whole week, or your whole life. But when you're in I am enough, the moment in time is small, it's minute, it's insignificant. No matter how big the incident was, you don't give it the entire day, okay? So let's put that over here. Now I want to talk about what's actually happening. The science of how a bad moment becomes a bad day, a bad week, a bad life. When you have the bad moment, you have a spike in cortisol. So you're going along, this is your bad moment, and you have a spike in cortisol. The, the words are backwards on Facebook, you'll figure it out. Cortisol, okay? Now cortisol has gotten a bad rap. Cortisol is not a bad thing. Lots of cortisol is a bad thing. Sugar is not a bad thing. Lots of sugar is a bad thing. Sex is a... No, lots of sex is not a bad thing. (laughs) So this moment happens. And you have cortisol because cortisol is like a protection. It's like, okay, what do we do? There's an emergency. What do I do? Do I fight? Do I run? Do I hide? Cortisol helps you in that moment, okay? It gives you stuff that you need in that moment. But this is what happens. Cortisol isn't bad in small doses. But watch what happens. Then you say out your mouth, you you talk about the event, the moment, and you get more cortisol. And then you talk about the event again, and you get more cortisol. And you talk about the event again. You tell the coworkers, you get more cortisol. Do you see what's happening? You are reliving this bad moment again and again and again. You are complaining about it. This is what happens when you complain. These are the scientific facts of what happens when you complain about the bad moment. It gives you high blood pressure. It makes your blood sugar go up. Your immunity system is is weakened. Um, It'll create obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, you become toxic to other humans. And this, get this, the problem-solving part of your brain shrinks. What? When you had this bad moment, and then you continually speak it out your mouth and complain about it, and give it the rest of the day, the problem-solving part of your brain shrinks. How are you going to go through your day without being able to maximize problem-solving? So that is how a bad moment steals a day, a week, a life. Because you keep complaining about it. Complain, get more cortisol. Complain, you relive it, you get more cortisol. Complain, you relive it, you get more cortisol. So when the guy cut you off on the way to work, take a deep breath and be grateful that you have a car. Be grateful that you have a job to go to. Be grateful that you were not in an accident. So this is the solution. This is the strategy to keep this from happening. Okay? When you express gratitude, listen, you reduce cortisol by 23%. So this spike in cortisol, the guy cut you off. Or you got the uh, message from the doctor and it's tragic news. You've got 60 days to live. Okay, you uh, remember we started this whole show, the whole series. You get to have as many bad moments and bad days as you want. But remember, you have them. They don't have you. 
and you're in charge. So this is the strategy to not, to fight off, to resist this bad moment becoming a bad day, a bad week, a bad life, is you start expressing gratitude. You say it out your mouth. I am grateful that that car did not smash into me. It goes in your inner ear, down in your soul. Now your soul and the universe are collaborating to make more of that happen. Now that happens when you complain too. So remember the power of this. But I'm talking about using your power for good. So when you say, when you express a gratitude, it lowers your cortisol by 23%. It lowers your blood pressure. It lowers your cholesterol. When you say a gratitude, scientifically proven, it lowers your cholesterol. It lowers fatigue. You get more energy when you express gratitude. And it helps you fight off depression. Okay? So now we're not going to do this anymore. We're going to stop doing this. And we're going to start expressing gratitude. Now these are the, the keys to gratitude. It needs to be out loud. Oops. You need to express your gratitude out loud. I am grateful for my wonderful parents and I am enough. Okay? It needs to come out your mouth. I'm going to say it a couple times so it goes, you get it. It comes out your mouth, goes in your inner ear, down in your soul. Now your soul and the universe are collaborating to make that happen. When I said that, now I'm seeing my parents even more beautiful and even more amazing. Okay? You need to say it out loud. You need to say it with energy. You know how you'll say this story and you'll get all energized and you'll get passionate? And he cut me off. And the bastard was driving a beautiful um, Mercedes Benz and it was so fast and he flipped me off as he went away. You say it with all this passion. So I need you to use that same energy and same passion for the gratitude. Oh, I'm grateful for my parents. My parents were 15 and 17 and they still kept me. So much opportunity dimming down. Their, their dreams of their lives were dimming down and they chose to keep me. I am enough. And then you end it with I am enough. If you'll do this strategy, if you'll stick to this. Now listen, you have done this for a long time. You have a, a, a really smooth down path to complaining and creating cortisol and getting high blood pressure and getting diabetes and getting heart disease. You have created a path in that. What I'm offering you is not going to be easy. But Michael, that's so simple. Yes, it's simple, but it is not easy. This is not an easy path. And if you haven't been doing it, it is going to be difficult. And people are going to think you're crazy. When you walk into work and you're like, Oh, I got here safe. I'm so grateful that I got to work safe and I am enough. People are going to be like, Laura Carroll says, you'll be a happier person. Absolutely. People at work are going to be like, what happened to Bob? He usually comes in here complaining, being toxic. He's talking about his blood pressure medicine. He's got to go get his insulin shot. What happened to Bob? Bob started expressing gratitude and healed himself, happied himself, and made himself a less toxic person. But this is, I'm telling you, this is not going to be easy, guys. This is going to be hard because you had this other habit. But remember, remember, you're seeing it out of I am enough. That's why I have you saying I am enough. Because right now you're letting the moment devour you. You're letting the moment eat you alive. And we can't have that anymore. You got to take that moment and be in charge of it. So this is you having the moment. Cortisol shows up. Cortisol's not bad. A little bit of cortisol is not bad for you. But when you say it, every time you say it, you're creating more cortisol. So you're, you're overdosing, you're ODing on cortisol. And it's shrinking the problem-solving part of your brain. 
And what I'm offering to you is you start expressing gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. You continually do it. Gratitude, 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 gratitude. I would, and I put, I put this in my book, every hour say two gratitudes. Every hour. Set it on your phone. When your phone goes off, set it on your watch. When your watch vibrates, you say two gratitudes with I am enough out loud. If you'll do it every hour, you can start to create a new path and you can start to create a new life and you can heal yourself and you will not let a bad moment steal the day. I love you. I care about you. Three calls to action. Show up here every morning at 9 a.m. We get th This is what we do every morning at 9 a.m. We are talking about living a successful life. Share this video. Please share this video. We want to get this message out there. We want more people to live the successful life. And thirdly, if you want some help, if, you're, if you need uh, some coaching to stop doing this and start doing this, I would be honored to have a conversation with you. All you got to do is reach out to me on Messenger or somewhere on Facebook. You can find me. I'm out there. If you want to find me, you'll find me. What do we know about that? Have a great day.